generally when I go on the river what I like to do is take a, a single bait I prefer in a match it's different but I prefer to just take say hemp and tares together to fish tares feed hemp or casters with hemp or just take maggots or bread perhaps with some grain bait or liquidized bread and I do that on the basis that I'm very experienced on the river I've got a good idea what will work and I want to fish in a certain way I'm fishing a fairly short session I'm not in a match where I need to maximize what I catch over the session and I think I can get that bait to work but there are times when I need to hedge my bets a bit more it's the end of June and hemp and tares should be working by now but they don't always work in midsummer however I live in hope so I set off for a stretch of the uh, Dorset Stour the lower Dorset Stour where I've caught on hemp and tares before I know there's roach present and I thought I could make it work set up with a, a four number four stick float John Dean stick float a two pound main line John Allerton st stick float rod spice tip rod and a Mitchell match and uh, put a size 16 fine wire barbless Drennan silverfish match hook and shot at it very lightly a number four shot under the float I think three number six strung out then a couple of tens and a couple of eights all strung out nicely nice fine shot in and uh, started fishing feeding 12 or 15 grains of hemp the main current is only a couple of rod lengths out as if you go across this swim it gets slacker it's quite a lot of weed across then a, a reed bed so I could fish fairly close in it's not much of uh, wind a bit of a light breeze that seems to be blowing every which way I think it was meant to be a, a westerly but it seems to be more a southeasterly I don't I don't get that but anyway there were odd fish topping one or two of them were roach some were little tiny choblets and bleak but a sign of fish present and it wasn't too long maybe about 10 minutes before I got a bite a nice roach on a, a tear which is about four or five ounces and I thought this is a good start should just persevere keep feeding away but it wasn't to be uh, I trotted away for an hour kept feeding the hemp every so often I'd get a little tiny flicker bite uh, the float would dip I'd strike there's nothing there the tear had gone it wasn't chewed in half which is sometimes what you get and I think what that was is either very small roach or small dace just having a go at the bait and taking it but uh, I couldn't hit them after an hour I decided it was time for a change and as it was early season I dug out uh, a few slices of bread and what was left of some liquidized bread from my last session it wasn't a lot there but enough to last an hour or hour and a half as it turned out to be initially I just put a bit of bread punch a punch just suitable for a, a size 16 fine wire hook so it's about a six mil something like that but with that very light shot in the bait sinks very slowly and I think little bleak and Dace were knocking it off the hook and it was obvious it wasn't really going to work properly so after two or three casts I decided it was time to um, change the float because of the, the float rubbers I could take the float the stick float out of the float rubbers bunch those number sixes just above the hook length and then add uh, I changed the float to a, a 6BB croquelaven and then add a bunch of four 
BB shot maybe six inches above that little mini bunch above the hook length and add a, a number six and a number eight to the hook length instead of the ten that was already there. So got some weight down the line there. So when I cast in this would take the, the bread punch down quickly. And then I started to feed with I suppose walnuts of uh, liquidized bread. It was nice and moist it had kept kept well hadn't been in the freezer too many times fairly fresh bit of bread and uh, squeezing that and it would I threw it upstream about three yards I suppose and you could see it sort of float down about a yard and then the air would come out of that ball and you could see it going down fairly quickly and uh, hitting hitting the bottom about a third of the way down the swim which was perfect it took a while for the fish to turn on to uh, this new bread feed. Whether I'd have done better with proper ground bait, I don't know, but it did take a little while. And it wasn't long before I got a dace and uh, I had a bleak quite early on, first bleak of the season. Not too bothered about that. But eventually the roach started to come, one or two netters. Which was nice, quite a few small dace, no great size to them. A little chublet. And it was it was a nice bit of fishing. I suppose I had over 20 fish to, to finish up with in a couple of, a couple of hours or so. And I, I think I'm gonna give bread more of a whirl this summer on the lower star. I've been fishing hemp and tears very extensively for quite a few years now in the summer and it does work I've even had bream on it big chub big roach but nice to see what bread can do maybe take some ground bait some gross guard on mix it up with some crumb as well try that as a change I've made uh, ground bait and bread punch work many many times on the what we used to call the real lower stat which is the tidal river from uh, just above Iford Bridge, all the way down through Iford, Tuck Turn, and then down into the harbour. And I may even try that on the Avon as well. Uh, I have caught some nice roach on the Avon on bread in the last uh, three or four years. So it will certainly work on there anyway. In the past, I've had massive bags on the, the tidal stour on ground bait and bread punch in the summer. Lots of roach, a few silver bream, uh, bream skimmers as well as proper slabs, the odd chub, very occasionally a dace or two, even a carp once I think. So it's, it's very much a proven bait and it would be nice to catch some uh, better fish on it again this summer. With bread as I say, I've got lots of confidence in it. I've caught many thousands of fish with bread on the Stour. On, on, it works on the Froome as well and, and the Avon, even on the Thames in the summer. You do need a bit of weight down the line to get it through the, the bits, which tend to stay up on the top. And once you've got it down through, you can uh, get it to work properly. Floats fairly well shotted down show the shy bites quite often it fish will run along with it it's what I found in this session at times the float would just be dipping a little bit and then it would go properly and you'd you'd find the roach was on there so it wasn't just tiny stuff that's it for this week until next time it's goodbye for now